So you've cut out all of the slabs you need for your pot. It should be four sides and a square for the base. Now you might be ready to start building. You think you want to start constructing this pot. Well, clay in its raw stage is really still floppy. And if you try putting all of these together, it's going to turn into a floppy, frustrating mess. So we need to actually store these overnight uh, so that they start to get a little more firm. We don't want them all the way dry, so we're not going to leave them out because we would not be able to join them. They need to be firm enough that they're not going to be flopping all over the place, but moist enough that we can still score and slip and smooth them together. So you're going to use a gallon Ziploc bag with a piece of paper towel in it, and you will carefully lay all of these inside of the bag on top of the paper towel. Now, you may want to add decorations to your pot, some carving in, or some additions, right? Everyone for this lesson is required to add something. So you could do that on day one. You could do that when you, today, when you first cut these out, or you could do it tomorrow. So just depending on how much time you have today, it does not matter either way. If you want to do some carving or stamping before you bag these up, that is Okay, the important part is that you give them a day to solidify before you start constructing your pot. So I'm going to have a piece of paper towel on the bottom and the top. So they're like sandwiched in between. I'm going to smooth this out. Get out any air. You still want to zip it up. So we want them just to start to solidify, not all the way dry. And then you'll very carefully store it like this.